today we're going to have a look at Hooke's Law. Uh, it was devised by Robert Hooke in 1660 and it relates the extension of an elastic material or even the compression of an elastic material to the force applied to it. So here we have, uh, we have the apparatus set. Uh, so that's a stand, uh, a clamp stand, uh, then this is a spring. Uh, now I already have 0 0.3 newtons of weight to it. Uh, so we can probably remove that. So now each disc is 0 0.1 newton, uh, uh, applies 0 0.1 newtons of force downwards. So when, uh, when we're going to do experiment in 0 0.3, 0 0.6, so as 0 0.3s of newtons. And later we will plot a graph to find the spring constant. Now, in the scale, we can see that at the moment the extension is zero. Although there is some mass here, we are looking at extension, so it does not matter. We are not looking at the actual length of the spring. So, at the moment, the extension is zero as per the scale. And now I am going to add 0 0.3 newtons of weight, which is a Now, I am going to record the results in a table where I have three columns. The first one is force in newtons. The second one is extension in centimeters, which we will get directly from the scale. And the third one is extension in meters. Now, Hooke's law was made in meters, it was devised in meters, and its assignment is uh, newton. uh, newtons uh, per uh, sorry, uh, newtons per meter. So, we are going to work with that. Now, uh, you get, I am going to read it off around 2 cm here, uh, so you have to wait for it to settle down, so it does not move a lot. So, by 0, 0 0.3, I have two, uh, 2 cm of extension. Now, let's have a look at 0 0.6. Three of these, uh, three, three, of, three or four of 